Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML and CSS interview question answer series. And today's question is, what is the purpose of Z index and how is it used? This is absolutely critical if you are applying for a front end developer senior role or if you are kind of a designing designer kind of a position which includes coding as well, right? So if you are a front end developer doing UI designing, UI development, this is an absolutely basic question that you should know because they will ask you this in your interview. So what is the question? What is the purpose of Z index and how is it used? So the answer is Z index helps to specify the stack order of positioned elements that may overlap one another. Right? Now it's a very very interesting thing because you have to explain it to the interviewer, right? not just theoretical explanation. So using Z index, we can place elements on top of each other. That's the simplest way you can explain. So what is Z index? It will help you specify the order of the positioned elements that may overlap one another. So if I have an element which I want it overlapped on top of another, I can use Z index. The Z index value default value is zero and can take on a either a positive or negative value. Now the other way of asking this is, can I give a value as 999 for a Z index? Yes, we can. Can I give a value of minus 999? Yes, we can. The default value is zero, right? The element with a higher Z index is always placed above the lower index. So in case of menus or in case of responsive layouts, right? You would, we would always give the Z index to the maximum because we always want it on top of it, right? So that's the basic of Z index. Let me show you with a little um, kind of an example that I'm bringing for the mean stack development uh, application. I am using that, so I thought I'll just share it with you also. So this is a mean stack application project, which is almost ready. I will share it with you in the next week. But for now, I will show you the functionality. You see, it has crawled, right? Now you see it can scroll, now see. Now you see this is on top of this, right? This is on top of it. This is the Z index. That means now this element Z index is higher than this one. That's why it is going away, right? Now, similarly, let me show it again. Again, I shrink, it will show you. And here you see overlapping, right? Because it has the Z index, right? And where is that code? Let me show you that also real quick. So I'm still developing this for you. So you see Z index, which is 1038. And that's why it's always on top, right? So this is how you give Z index and the usage of Z index. That means when you give Z index, it will always stack up the on top of the lower index ones, right? Make sure you get it well. You make sure you practice it well. Let me know if you have any doubts. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the other side of more questions. Stay tuned. Happy learning. Thank you so much.